show where we talk and stuff uh i'm joined by the avid world traveler uh allison tar who is allison plus on the internet uh who is currently touring all point points um well east of us and uh <laughs> Wait, it's a globe like isn't everything <laughs> east of us uh, yeah but at some point it becomes west <laughs> and if you keep going east, <laughs> and you can just by, keep going east. It's always by, east of you. By, <laughs> Don't turn around. I am joined by my friend Gary, who is a professional um, pedantic professional asshole, contrarian. <laughs> professional contrarian. Yeah. Um, yeah. Allison is currently in Germany, uh, so uh, Donkashane. Uh, do, you, do you know what I looked up before this call? I looked what? up how to say arborist. Where Germany is? Ar that was number one. Number two was how do you say arborist in uh, German? And it's Baumflager. Okay, great. That's important. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I wanted to bring a little culture. Is it because you thought you were doing good girls? I did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that, I stole your thunder. Then you'll have to save that for next week. Yeah, um, and I, uh, I had it in another language too, but I don't remember what it was, and I didn't write it down. So. Okay. Uh, um, bomb flagger. Uh, this is our closest uh, to live show that we've done since starting this podcast because uh, we're recording this Wednesday, and this is going to go out on Friday. Because before, we, we recorded the week ahead of time. So we've always had a buffer. And this is the only week where we don't have a buffer. So if we really suck, then there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing to fall back on. Um, back up a little bit. Because I feel like the first episode went out two days or one day after it was recorded. The I'm pretty sure we recorded it and then released it the next week. I'm pretty sure that's how we did it. I believe you. Okay. But yeah, we had we've had we had a couple week break. Uh, I went up to Portland, and uh, some other stuff happened. <laughs> Gary, I think you did something. I don't know. And 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 oh, and Allison, no, Allison flew to to Europe to this uh, conference and was in Amsterdam. That was what happened. Is is Allison was was on a on a plane, flying, doing things adventurous. Yeah. I visited Florida. Yeah. It's, yeah. I I didn't want to pay for Wi-Fi on the plane, so. I, I have you could, done. You could hook up Allison with, uh, with Wi-Fi on the plane by clicking on our Patreon link. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a Patreon link. We need a Patreon link. We need a Patreon. Patreon us. Patronize us. Someone create it for us and then tell us how it works. <laughs> <laughs> and also give us money. And also give us money, yes. Is that a thing? I mean, is that a thing that other podcasts do? Or are we missing the boat here? Oh, in so many ways. And so many boats. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, well, I guess we need to But get I on. think their, their, boats, their boats might have actual causes. So. Well, we could you know. have causes. I mean, we could, say, we could say, give us money and we'll donate it to, like, Transgender Law Center or something. So instead of doing that, like, like cut out the middleman. Like, here's a link. Just go there yourself and do that. That's true. It, that's, that's, true. My, that's my preference. Um, well, there are... I don't want to get into this. Thing. I think it's silly. <laughs> but you're the, the, the contrarian. That's true. That's why we're here. Contrary. <laughs> um, professionally, yeah. Professionally I, contrarian. Yeah, I, I feel like it's like everything on the internet, right? Um, it, it, um, it started out as like a fairly decent idea. And then everybody used it and it turned to Twitter, you know, just turned to crap, you know, and you have to be selective about how you use it these days. That wasn't as hard as I was hoping. 
I, I mean, I could talk at length about it, but I, I, so I have discussed uh, the utilization of it on a site that I work on. And my point was why, like, why do you need someone to manage this for you? Right? Like roll your own instead of giving them, I don't know, they take 7% or something. It's a big number. It feels like a big number. If people are legitimately willing to support your, your endeavors, right? Why, why should they support Patreon as well? Like mm. forget that, just give it all to me. That's true. I mean, I don't mean in a greedy way, but I mean, if you, if you're inspired to support, but we don't need a Patreon. We don't need your support. I mean, we need your support. We, <laughs> well, there are, there are sort of, you know, I feel like you set us up for failure, Chris. You pointed out this is as close to live as we've ever been. And now <laughs> I totally did can't I handle it. this pressure. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, don't worry. Chris, it's not burn. live. <laughs> You're going to edit this part out, right? Like you do every every episode. You just every out, episode. Out. Yes, yes. The parts where I talk. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Un- unbeknownst to you, because you don't actually listen to it, you're not on the podcast. <laughs> you're like stuff it's okay. This. It's okay. Cause I've been, I haven't told anyone either. So it's like that's not true. I've told a couple people. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> woo! <laughs> and this is where, if we were commercialized, we would get to a commercial break and get our wits about us, and somebody gives <laughs> a pep talk. <laughs> no, no, that that wouldn't happen. I don't think Maybe the wits should... <laughs> would 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 be gathered. Maybe since you're doing intros, you should explain how this works, and we should get into it. <laughs> yeah, that's an idea. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you're new to the show or have been living under a rock, uh, the way this works is Allison comes up with a topic that Gary and I will discuss and argue about at length that we have not been that has not been free disclosed to us. And if we don't know what the topic is, we're going to make some shit up. It's like Balderdash, except it's a podcast. Uh, and. If you like us, you can subscribe on the iTunes and the website and the Twitters and all that stuff. And uh, binaryjazz.us is our website. And you can also submit questions. We do actually have questions that I will need to figure out at some point. Uh, But we did last I looked, and I haven't looked because it's been two weeks, but they were there. So, uh, yeah. Um, at the end of the show, uh, Allison will give us questions unless we have user submitted questions, which we do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Holy cow. <laughs> we have a lot more feedback than I thought we did. How many questions are there? Um, well, there was, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the mailbag episode? Do I even need to bring a topic? Or can we just use your question? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, just, I have to share the first one. I have to. I have to. Because <clears throat> otherwise I'm going to be cracking up about it. The whole show. Uh, <laughs> Wanda shares, I agree that orcas are both cute and deceptive. Do you think cuteness is deceptive in general? <laughs> I think that's the end of the show right there. (laughs) Yeah, so we have questions. Um, Great. That's that's just a preview. Yeah, we have a lot, actually. What the hell happened? Where did you guys come from? (laughs) People used the form. We were gone for two weeks. It was just two weeks. We haven't had questions, like, for months, and and now we've got... Yeah, a lot. So, okay, Allison, <laughs> let's have a topic. You didn't answer I'm the so question. Is cute can... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the answer to the question is yes. <laughs> I... No, it exists in, in, unto itself, right? Clearly. Like, it, it can't be deceptive because it's its own thing. 
professional contrarian. <laughs> you were just formulating you were just formulating a no argument to make a no argument. I mean I no, I really I was kicking it to the end of the I hadn't thought about it, but since we're going there now, um no, it's not deceptive. No. It's its own thing. Why would it be, how would it be deceptive? That, that seems silly to me. Like, like it's they, not, they, it's, they, orca, orcas, orcas are cute, fine. But that's not like, that's camouflage, right? It's not deceptive. And the point of camouflage is deception. It's, so it's like, it's at least a step removed. <laughs> Literally the point. Deceptive. <laughs> <laughs> what is the topic? <laughs> What's today's topic? Like you don't wear his camouflage. Like you go into it, a jungle and like your camouflage is bright orange. Yeah, why do hunters wear bright orange? So they don't get shot by other hunters, probably. Huh. Humans are bad at Dick Cheney. Yeah, humans are very bad at things. Yeah. What color do you wear if you go hunting with Dick Cheney? I think uh, I have a camouflage. I don't know, pink. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't want him to. I don't want him to see me. I'll shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that when he shot that dude? Well, huh? Yes. Okay. I want to make sure, like, I hadn't like invented that. That wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't a hallucination. It did happen. Yeah. It seemed reasonable as far as hallucinations go. <laughs> right. Seems, seems like passable behavior these days. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. The current. Now we don't we don't kill uh, humans when we're hunting. We kill large endangered species until they fall on you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That that happened. It was it was it an elephant or a giraffe that fell on the. It was an elephant, I think. Yeah. So karma is something. Onward. And, uh, sense of humor. <laughs> wow. Well. <laughs> I wanted to make that pause as long and awkward as possible. Unless we're going to talk about orcas more. Yeah, well, we can. pretty much. The topic of today is uh, orcas. Yeah. <laughs> Killer whales. The controversy of the name. No. Uh, well, we're not kill. <laughs> They're neither whales nor killer. <laughs> Just guess. Tell me, uh, that's not true, topic? is it? Hmm? What? That's not true, is it? Yeah, they're they're not whales, and they they're kill not. Things. They yeah. do kill things, but that's not like a defining characteristic. I mean, they kill small fish. I guess that's true. We don't call like lions killer. What would you call it instead of a, a cat? Killer dogs. Killer cat. It's a lion. Killer dog. Okay. <laughs> we we clearly cannot take a two week break because we are not not equipped to to behave ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. Um, That's all right. Don't you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, the topic this week um, is soloing, because I thought it was thematic, even though I haven't seen solo yet. Oh, I'm like, why is it thematic? Yeah, I thought you meant like thematic, like your solo travels. I didn't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. that's well, what it is. Soloing is is when you are traveling solo. Well, it could be <laughs> doing many other different, things solo. Many yeah. many things, but I'm wondering if you can actually guess what I was intending when I said soloing the first time. But it's a bit of a, a bit of a reach. It could be a bunch of different things. Which is why you're equipped to discuss it. <laughs> I guess um, just think of all the different things you can go, you can do solo that might be crazy enough that I know about them. So many. Gary things. looks so bored. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the first I mean music. we're all we're all. Uh, introverts and well most of us are introverts and mostly introverts and we're all hermits so basically everything we do is solo <laughs> i solo my day every day yeah <laughs> yeah is there danger in soloing yes there's more danger safer with a partner 
Depends on what you're soloing. I'm pretty safe in the confines of my office here. What if you choke on like a <laughs> pretzel? Oh. <laughs> it's happened. Uh, it's, we've talked about it on this particular series. We've discussed this. Choking on a pretzel. pretzel. Yeah. During the um, Curse of Tippecanoe. Mm, right. I'm going to bring that up the episode. Assassination attempt by, by gluten. <laughs> Careful, you have to travel soon. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true, if I choked on a pretzel, I would have to sell, I would have to solo Heimlich. That's true. But I have a chair back there that I could solo Heimlich on. Sure. <laughs> it's sole sure. purpose. <laughs> That's what it's there for. <laughs> Dry pretzel. Wow. <laughs> That must have been a weird, like, like you know, when you go to the store and like, test a chair, that had to be a little <laughs> Testing that one, like, <laughs> <laughs> The kind of soloing I was thinking of is dangerous. Um, there's a bunch Climb. of different types. You can deep net solo. You can deep water solo. You can... And people have died, which is, that's the downer of the topic. Uh, jumping up a tall cliff by yourself? Or you either, solo, solo? You like could, I'm soloing Everest? You I mean, could, Everest. You K2, is that the one? You could do that. I wouldn't, but you could. People have. I, I mean, I couldn't. I, I don't have the kind <clears> of, no, yes, you uh, could, strength. Gary. You can do it. What? Now, Everest. You can do whatever you want to do. Be your best self. <laughs> I feel like if I set my mind to, um, like, conquering Everest, I would decide not to do it because it seems really dangerous. <laughs> like, I set my mind to it. No. <laughs> now that I set my mind to it, I have better ideas how to spend my time. I, I don't mean to, like, be a downer for all those Everest summoners that follow us. So... <laughs> This is the part well, where Chris not. and I surprise you with a trip to Everest. Put <laughs> 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 that, that on the back burner. So that, that trip. <laughs> it's, it's cold there from what I've seen. So not really. Mountains off and are. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Anything, anything is cold. Uh, Compared to Florida. Yeah, it was like 94 and a half on a call yesterday. I was sitting outside on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is pushing it. Pushing it. That half. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of my limit. 94. It's above 94. I just say no way. It's been, yeah, it's been 90s here too. And it's, it's like, yeah, it's definitely the, the don't go outside temperature. It's the humidity too that makes it so much fun. Yeah, you get that. I don't get that. That makes going oh. outside in 95 degrees a little bit more bearable. But then it becomes 105 and then it's, it's unbearable again. It's flips the, it's jumped the couch. Your, your glasses fog up as soon as you walk outside. Mine don't. Do you not have like fake retinas? I do. No, I don't have fake retinas. I have actual okay. retinas that are malformed. Why did I think you had fake retinas? Uh, because my actual retinas are malformed. So I just assumed that you had like... Corrective surgery, retinas. yeah. How did I know that your retinas were malformed? I probably have said something about it at some point. I, I mean, I, it, that makes the most sense, yeah, logically. You probably did. <laughs> <laughs> For the listeners at home, I have keratoconus, which is when your cornea is conical. That would have been a great topic because I would argue with Chris, like, I have it. Like, that's not what it means. <laughs> in fact, I think if you wait long enough, you could throw that in as a topic, and I would forget we had this conversation, and I would still argue. <laughs> it comes from the word, it comes from the, the roots of the word is kara, which mean, means I in Greek, I think. And conus, which means cone. Uh, carrot is an orange vegetable that grows in the ground. It's not carrot to conus. It is carrot to conus. 
<laughs> and it's the actual, it's the physicality of that carrot like <laughs> shaped in that conical way. It's due to the pressures, the further you get into the, into the dirt. Gary is currently... It's either, it's any kind of taproot. Gary is currently soloing this episode. <laughs> it sounds like a Harry Potter spell. It does. <laughs> Keratoconus? Keratoconus! It's like a... Orange dunce cat. Man, failed opportunity there. Missed huh. opportunity. That, sh that should have been a thing. <laughs> Maybe it is a thing. I mean, it's po probably a thing. We pro probably, probably a thing. No R. <laughs> Our podcast is so good. <laughs> this is quality. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> So soloing, uh, soloing is either when you jump uh, by yourself off of a tall cliff and into the water, and uh, yeah. or uh, soloing <clears throat> is when you deep sea dive by yourself with no ropes and no, uh, I don't know, other people. <laughs> it's when you play a musical <clears throat> instrument and you don't, um, and you do your own thing. That is true. That is a type of soloing. Yeah. Also, soloing um, is when you go to, and you go to the Han Solo movie and you do that thing where after the movie is done, you just stay in the theater and you watch it again and you just keep doing it for, for eight hours straight. That's soloing. Would you be soloing, soloing if you did that alone? Yes. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be soloing solo. <laughs> <laughs> and then at some point, you would ask them like... Um, you'd like build a relationship with the projector the guy <laughs> that does a projector and ask him, can you slow it down? I don't think, I don't so you think could slowly solo. The, the role, so, it's so, projectionist, Gary. It's not, the, the, the object, the device is a projector. The person operating the projector is not also the projector. It's 2018, I'm a projector. <laughs> I, yeah, that does make sense. That does make sense. I can't argue with that as much as I would like to, obviously. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the projectionist, you build a relationship with the projectionist and ask him to play it slowly. So you could slowly soloing solo, soloing slowly solo. Huh. Are either of you like, um, thinking like, I wish this, I was doing this thing solo? Podcast <laughs> <with them>? No. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> that, that would be more anxiety provoking than than this. <laughs> yeah, in fact, like, I, I want but, I want to take you to my I want to take this anxiety provoking. I want to make that clear. <laughs> I want to take both of you to to my uh, my talks uh, this week uh, so that you can just be in the audience and heckle me. Wait, they're this week. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow and Friday. Man, I am <clears throat> living in a under a rock or something. Rock. I knew they were coming up. I thought they were months out. <laughs> I, They've been months out, and then they weren't months out, and now they're tomorrow. <laughs> That's how that time thing works. Huh? Yeah, it is how that time thing works. It's funny. Yeah, I was working with a really great. Um, never mind. That's a nerdy thing to say. This is the place. <laughs> We'll no, this place. is the place. This is the place. This is where Joseph Smith went over the mountain. He looked down and he said, this is the place. And so then we all lived here and we all lived happily ever after. <laughs> this is the place. Is the lake, is the lake salty? Yeah, it's really salty. Huh, okay. Um, I was going to say, I worked with this great library yesterday for working with time. PHP, it's called Carbon. Um, it's fantastic. You can do things like, <clears throat> once you create like a carbon object, you can be like, add weeks and then you put in the quantity of weeks and return the value and boom there it is it's it was it, it turned like a time project oh and when you create the object you pass in the time zone it was created in so it yeah i'm never going to worry about time again until the next time time is messed up which will probably be today when it's q8 right but couple that with um with Faker, which is another library where you can create fake data. So I created like a series of events. Every event had a different time zone. And then I pulled it in with um, Carbon and did some things. And I don't know where I'm going with this. 
that's why I don't want to go there. It's kind of nerdy. And uh, I mean, I, how, how much can you talk about a time library? Obviously quite a bit. It seems like enough. That seems like enough. <laughs> right there. Seems like enough. <laughs> the answer is five to six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Cart so, is a loyal sponsor of this program. So, any other uh, any other definitions of soloing that we can think oh, of? Oh, I want to know what definition you had in mind. Well, I was I was going there, but I wanted to see if there's anything else that we could come up with before we went there. I mean, I feel like everything you do alone is soloing. Yeah. Uh, so. So basically, anything, everything. Yeah. Allison, like everything. I'm, I'm, I'm soloing lunch today. <laughs> the answer is everything. Yeah. <laughs> Boiled again. You found me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you okay. So you can do everything solo, but <laughs> my intent. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is not the production of red red cups for the purposes of playing beer pong, is it? No. <laughs> okay, great. Go on. Although, side note, um, as I am continuing making candles, I was going to do votives and so i was looking and i found like oh the little like the little mini solo cups for shots or whatever they're for and but i was looking for the the dentist ones and they call them good time cups <laughs> so i was like oh, i'm looking for like the little the little paper cups like you get at the dentist or the doctor and she was like oh you mean good time cups and i was like I I don't know, and so that's. What I don't I'm think that's what I mean. No, I'm pretty sure that's not what I, I meant at like, all. Not really. And now, like when I like, I was at the dentist, and immediately I was like, "It's a good time cup," and I'm like, "It's not a good time." I was like, "I don't want to be here. Don't want to be swishing this mouthwash." <laughs> anyway, they're good time cups. No, so. they're not. <laughs> that's that's some savvy marketing right there. <clears throat> what can we call these things? Dentist cups. Than Good doctor. time cups. We'll trick them. That will that will make all the difference. Calling the cup a different thing. Mm. But no, it doesn't Sorry. have anything to do with solo cups. Okay. Um, my original <clears throat> intent was solo climbing, so without yeah. any restraint or ropes or netting or that's backup. what that means. That is dangerous and scary and not something yeah. I would do. I don't think Never. you have a chair for that either. No, no chair required. And then there's also mm -hmm. deep water soloing when people climb on cliffs and they're above water so that if they fall, they, quote, land safely in the sea, which yeah, that'll contains happen. killer whales, which are neither killers <laughs> or whales, as we've discussed. Well, I also... I think you can belly flop pretty hard and break some stuff. I don't think safe. I mean, yeah. if you're on a cliff. Sa safe is definitely relative. But, I mean, you know, falling into water versus falling onto the ground. Okay, so That's it's true. a little bit safer, <clears throat> I suppose. Yeah. But I still wouldn't do it. Nope. 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 Well, it's Never? the same. <clears throat> no. Never. I've sold it a ladder. <laughs> I've sold it a ladder. <laughs> I do feel pretty brave when I'm over the top of the ladder. Oh man, I, we have a we have a um. So we bought this house. The there the previous owners used a dish. So there's a there's a satellite dish on the roof, and and there's all these crazy wires coming off of it. That obviously, since we weren't using dish, were just useless and ugly. So I did go out on the roof to cut the wires out and to sort of detangle all the stuff and just get rid of the crap. But the dish is still out there because the dish is just far enough that like I'm like I don't want to fall off the roof when i was uh when i was building the nursery i had this so no tall everest ladder. is not happening solo or otherwise <laughs> and this tall ladder and it's fiberglass <clears throat> so super when light I open it like the yeah but when i open it the the feet kind of stick on the ground so you would get up on it like four or five rungs up and then it would settle a little bit mm. and <clears throat> and that feels like you're um you're failing at soloing for a moment Plumbing towards the water. Feels like you're about to die. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's even better like when you're up there and you're like reaching with tools in your hands, it settles and you <clears throat> well, drop your tools or 
So then I got in the habit of like trying to make sure all four feet were settled, but it never, ah, man. Ooh. People do this on skyscrapers and like buildings and things as well, as far as just climbing unprotected <laughs> on sheer cliffs. I don't know, like there's somebody named Alex Honnold who does, he did it in Yosemite. Um, and he did it in like three hours, something that people normally do in like days. And he did was it without. That half, was that half dome? Yeah. And it's so just like. I think part of this. It's got to be the same, Scary. like, the same stuff as, like, base jumping, right? Like, it's, like, sustained adrenaline. Mm. Which sounds I, cool until, like, you're shaking with adrenaline, right? And then that actually looked more like a cat, I realize. You mean, you mean a killer dog? Yes. <laughs> Lion. <laughs> <laughs> so now the portion uh, of the show where we have uh, questions. And once again, you can submit <clears throat> questions through our website at the bottom of our, uh, of our website, or you can uh, at us on Twitter at, at Binary Jazz. Uh, our, we've had a run of questions. I believe uh, this qualifies as a slew, actually. Yes. There's enough to be a slew. There. Uh, Lucy asks, if you were defending your title in some sort of arena spectacle championship, what song would blast as you made your way to the stage slash ring? Wow. Um, I would want something that came across as like mildly, um, like not well balanced. This guy picked that song, like, what is wrong with him? Like, I would want to put, like, a little, like, doubt in my opponent's mind. So it would need to be something like, boy, I don't know, like the Barney theme song or something. <laughs> no. no um, that was not the direction I thought you were going with that, but okay. <laughs> um, girls just want to have fun. Uh, I, I, what, what's, you don't know, have a song, Gary? Barney theme song is what you're going with. What? Girls just want to have fun. Oh, girls just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. Okay. That, I sat at my previous <clears throat> employer, the first time I met anybody that worked there in person. I had to karaoke that song. That is also an interesting choice. I, I was actually, uh. Oh, it wasn't my choice, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, I meant for your entrance song. Uh, I was actually, Oh, fair. <laughs> um, I was trying to think of something that, that was the appropriate amount of butt rock. Um, but I think shit list by L seven is probably, uh, yeah, but, but it, it doesn't have, it doesn't have the appropriate amount of butt rock though. Cause it needs to be pretty butt rock. Maybe if like L seven was covered by like the scorpions. I think that would be okay. good. <laughs> Both of your answers have made me reconsider what I was going for, my answer. Although I'm not used to answering the questions either. So I was like, oh crap, I'm answering. Um, yeah, yeah. yes. Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. I feel like I would want to like glam it up. I feel like there'd be a cape. That's fair. Mm. Uh, okay, let's see. Kevin asks, if you could be paid excellent money to make a full-time career out of taking classes and workshops purely for your own curiosity and amusement, what are some things you might study? Man, I think, like, I think we could go on for days on this question. <laughs> yeah, like, just sure. Basically everything. <clears throat> everything... And especially if it was like, I'm getting paid to take classes just for my own curiosity and amusement, it would be things that would be the least functional, like the least, the least uh, things that I would use in my, in my normal life, like underwater basket I, weaving. I, I, would, I would probably go the opposite direction. Like I would, I would wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I need to figure out what class I'm doing this week. And I would grab my orange juice and, pour it and be like, I need to learn how like to grow oranges. And that would take up some time, you know? And then from there, I mean, it would be like, you know, like, 
Uh, it would it would probably I think I think general consumerism would drive my curiosity as to what classes I end up taking. So you would be churning your own butter and yes, you know, dairy farming. It just it'd all be food based as the day went on. <laughs> uh, yes, apparently so. No, I mean even like even even I mean well, like shopping carts. They're they're huge. Like there's how many shopping cart manufacturers can there possibly be, right? Like, what's the process? Is it patented? Is there like an accepted like best practice for shopping cart manufacturing? How do you even get into that? Like, these are all questions I want answered, and I feel like I would I would brush against these answers through the course of learning like the skill set required to weld shopping carts. You know, um, I boy, I, so you I, it's you. Boring. You believe they are still welded by hand somewhere? I believe that they're repaired by hand. And I feel like that would be like um, a potential area um, to start learning, like apprenticing with someone. And they would have an in with the manufacturer. So in my imaginary shopping cart world, like at that point, I would be introduced to people further up the chain, shopping cart distribution. And there would be opportunities for learning um, as to why it became automated and how and what were the trade-offs and um i do uh, feel like all of us kind of go down uh learning rabbit holes and like get are really curious about random things and therefore that would probably drive uh a lot of our uh pursuits in <clears throat> our uh this hypothetical uh in job of taking online yeah. courses well, I mean, it's how I got into WordPress. Like, oh, I feel like I could make that do things a little differently. And now it's all I do. Like, <laughs> you know, who knows what the next thing will be like that. But what would, what would be the first useless things that you would pick up, quote unquote useless? I always say golf lessons. That's supposed to be like a zing, like a burn on golf. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You live in Florida. I don't think you can zing golf. <clears throat> Running out of steam, I guess. The entire yeah. state is a golf course, isn't it? Well, it's like a really big the water swamp, trap. Yeah. yeah, the swampy parts. You can't really play through. But... That's the water trap. Um, I actually, I have, a, uh, I have a new golf ball yesterday. My neighbor handed it to me. It ended up in his backyard from the golf course that's a hundred yards away from us. So you gotta be really bad to hit it in his backyard or my backyard. He's like, here, I thought you might want to hit it back. <laughs> I do. You're right. <laughs> so it's my list of things to do today is hit that golf ball back at the golf course. And hopefully hit someone in the head. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not that great and there's trees in the way. I feel like they're pretty safe and the odds of someone standing where it lands and the odds of me ever knowing about me hitting them with a golf ball. Or that's, that's the key. Right Slim there. to none. I feel yeah. safe. Yeah. Yep. Um, story how golf um, ball came from the power lines. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where. Okay, so so because we're running short on time, we have to not do the other question. But I do have one that I'm going to do. Uh, there is a request from Lisa. She says, "Allison, will you consider throwing more well actuallys in each episode?" I, I would love that. I will, I will. What's, what's this topic really about? <laughs> well, actually. Well, actually. Well, <laughs> well, actually, I was considering trying to do that more often. <laughs> we'll see what the future brings. I think that's a good note to end on. <laughs> that's not how it works. You know that. We end when the program stops. Yeah. <laughs> Never a minute before. We've accidentally met it before. Except for the parts you cut me out because I am the one that ended on it and I don't exist. So. Right. Yeah. 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 Except for those. That's, oh. why, that's why we keep you around. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at @binaryjazz. 
Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the forum on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz. Thank you.